everybody, it's me, Miss V, ready for another story. This one is a really good one. It's called The Skunk, and it's by Mac Barnett, and art by Patrick McDonald. And they're both really famous authors and illustrators. Um, this one is a really good book. It's super funny, and it has great words, and we're going to find out what is up with this skunk? Because in the cover, it looks like he's kind of sneaky looking at this man. And uh-oh, look at the colors. The skunk is black and white and red. And our friend right here is also wearing black and white with red. So let's find out already. They're matching the skunk. Here we go. When I left my house, there was a skunk on my doorstep. Hmm. Ooh, look at the red flowers and the black and white. I love it. I kept very still. I did not want to startle him, but the skunk did not seem scared. Slowly and carefully, I backed away and started down the street. Hmm, interesting. The skunk started right after me. We walked together a few blocks. I thought it was funny that a skunk and I would be going in the same direction. But after a mile, I realized I was being followed. Hmm, why do you think the skunk is following him? When I sped up, the skunk sped up. When I slowed, the skunk slowed. I took many wild turns, and so did the skunk. Oh my goodness. I turned to the skunk and asked, what do you want? But the skunk did not answer. The skunk was a skunk, and they don't talk. I bought the skunk an apple, gave him a saucer of milk, and offered him my pocket watch. The skunk did not want any of these things. This was ridiculous. I was wasting my time. I hailed a taxi and sped off down the avenue. The skunk took the next taxi cab. Outside the opera house, I hid behind a shrub. The skunk did not see me crouching there. Success! I bounded up the steps and took my seat. I was relieved to find myself between a lady and a gray old officer. There, there he is sitting down. But then, of course, skunks can't buy tickets to the opera. The curtain rose and I smiled. Oh, I think he finally got rid of the skunk. What do you think? Oh. In the middle of the first solo, the skunk came trotting down the aisle. He climbed up the lady's gown and took a seat on her head. She did not notice. She was wrapped. That means she just was so into the music, the opera that they were watching. Excuse me, madam, I said, but there seems to be a skunk on your head. Hush, said the little lady. This is my favorite part. So strange and so sad. I just had to escape. I excused myself and I hurried out the fire exit. That little lady didn't care that she had a skunk on her head. The skunk pursued me across the city. He followed me through the sculpture garden and the cemetery. I could not get away. I ran to the carnival and bought a ticket to the Ferris wheel. The skunk boarded the gondola one or right after mine. We rode around and great circles. He was not getting any nearer, but he was not getting any farther away. Hmm, that skunk is still following him. I'll admit it. 
I began to panic. I ran past the wharf, turned down an alley. It was a dead end. The skunk walked towards me. Go away, skunk, I shouted. But the skunk came closer and closer. So I lifted a manhole, that manhole that was right there, and I climbed down into the sewers. I hurried underneath the streets. Many times I paused to catch my breath, but not for long. I had to go on. He is trying to get away. I would try to be friends with the skunk. What will you do? When I came up, I was in a different part of the city. I found a new house. I bought new things. And on my first night, when I opened my bedroom door, guess who was waiting there for me? Uh-oh. I think it's a skunk. Nobody! I threw myself a party. I cooked a large dinner. People brought me gifts. He's celebrating. He's having a nice housewarming party. No skunk to be seen. After dessert, during the dancing, I thought about the skunk. What was he doing? Well, was he looking for me? Was he back in his burrow? Was he following someone else? Uh-oh, now he's thinking about the skunk. Do you think he misses the skunk? I left the party to find my skunk. He was not in the alley. He was not in the carnival. He was not beneath the city. I could not find him anywhere. I searched and I searched. Until there was the skunk. I trailed him down the sidewalk, careful to remain hidden. I think I'll keep an eye on him and make sure that he doesn't ever follow me again. Uh-oh, now he's following the skunk. How do you think the skunk feels about that? The and here we are, the skunk. I like this book, and I hope you did too. And I hope to see you again real soon with more stories and probably more Halloween-themed stories. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great day.